Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Good evening, Good evening. teacher. Yes. Okay, Good great. Yes, I can. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's begin. Um, I'm going to share the screen with you. There it is. Okay. And as usual, first thing we're going to do, we need to take the attendance. So when I call out your name, please let me know. Okay. So Alejandro Jose Quintanilla Ayala. Hello, teacher. Hello. Present. Thank you. Alicia Guadalupe Hernandez Romero. Alicia Guadalupe Hernández Romero. Ana Filomena Mendoza. <coughs> Ana Filomena Mendoza. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Andrea Geraldine Sánchez Recinos. Andrea Geraldine Sánchez Racinos. Andrea Michelle García Selva. Present teacher. Thank you. Blanca Marisol Vargas Esteves. Blanca Marisol Vargas Esteves. Boris Martín Salinas Quintanilla. Boris Martín Salinas Quintanilla. Selina Yvette Gutierrez Osorio. Present. Thank you. Dennis Isaías Gómez Rodas. Good evening, present. Good evening, thank you. Daisy Carolina Rodríguez Mejía. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eric Ernesto Linares Aguirre. Present. Thank you. Erika Maidel Antonio Flores. Present. Thank you. Present. Thank you very much. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. He's here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortez. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortez. Jose Eraivin Enriquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Katia Graciela Juan de Candray. Katia Graciela Juan de Candray. Maritza Isabel. Present Men teacher. Okay, okay. Thank you, Katia. Sorry. Okay, don't worry. Uh, Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Miguel Ángel Quintanilla Tejada. Blanca says present. Okay. Okay, Blanca. Thank you. Okay. Um, again, Miguel Ángel Quintanilla Tejada. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Noemí Alicia Estrada de Valle. Present teacher. Thank you. Ronald Antonio Luna López. Present teacher. Thank you. Saúl Antonio Hernández Torres. Present teacher. Thank you very much. I'm just going to call the names of those who didn't respond. Alicia Guadalupe Hernández Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Filomena Mendoza. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Thank you. Andrea Geraldine Sánchez Racinos. Andrea Geraldine Sánchez. Boris Martín Salinas Quintanilla. Boris Martín Salinas Quintanilla. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Good evening, teacher. I'm present. Good evening. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortez. 
Jenny Elizabeth Santillana. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Miguel Ángel Quintanilla Tejada. Miguel Ángel Quintanilla Tejada. Okay, I'm going to call the attendance at the end of the class one more time. Now we have to get on with the session. Just give me a second as I do something here very quickly. Okay. So everybody, welcome. This is Inglés Preavanzado, Modulo 1, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. Once again, this is session number seven, and today is March the 8th, 2023. Okay, so um, let's do this. So what were we doing yesterday? Yesterday, we were studying requests with models, if clauses, and gerunds. Okay, and this is the information from yesterday. We're going to have a very short review and after that, we're going to study the other cases. So let's do this right here, right now. Alguien se acaba de conectar. ¿Quién se acaba de conectar? Para ponerle la asistencia por acá. Bueno, luego me cuentan. Okay, so you have request with if clauses and the present tense. Very important. The same from yesterday. So when you have a clause that begins with, is it okay if? Or if it begins with, do you mind if? Then in that case, you have to use a subject and the present tense, usually present simple. So you say, for example, is it okay if I borrow your phone? Do you mind if I use your CD burner? Okay, Re remember, is it okay if, and do you mind if? Need the present, per the present simple after that, present tense. So uh, make the following requests, use the words in parentheses. We did this yesterday, but we can do the exercise one more time as a review. So the first one is you want to use your friend's computer. So you need to begin with, is it okay if, raise your hand if you know the answer. If you can tell me the request, please. Mm -hmm. Who can help me with number one? Ana Filomena and then Jose Raibin. Ana. Uh, it is okay if I use Before we continue. Computer. Okay, very good. But it's a question. So we say, we don't say it is okay. We say. Uh, uh, is it, right? Is it, is it. Ah, Sorry. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> I am sleeping. Okay, uh, okay, no problem. Is it, so, is it okay if I use your computer? That is correct. Is it okay if I use your computer? Very good. Thank you, Ana. Um, Jose Raivin, you can take number two. You want to open the window. You need to use, do you mind if? Uh, do you mind if I open the window? Do you mind if I open the window? That is correct. Okay, very good. Very good. Thank you very much. Nadia Rodriguez, okay. The third one, you want to borrow your friend's jacket. So okay. you say, is it okay if? Please, este, can you move the the image because uh, I don't see it very well. Can you see yeah, better okay. now? Okay, okay. yes, okay. yes, all right. Este, it is okay if uh, you want to borrow your... Mm, not exactly. It's a little different. It is okay if I borrow your jacket. Okay, better. But it's a question. So you say, is it okay? One more time. It is, is it okay if mm -hmm. you is, if is borrow your jacket? Is it okay if I borrow your jacket? That's the idea. Is it okay if I borrow your jacket? Good. And thank you, Nadia. And the last one, Saul Antonio, you want to read the newspaper when your friend finishes. So you say, do you mind if? Do you mind if I read the newspaper when you finish? Do you mind if I read the newspaper when you finish? That's right. Okay. There it is. Very good. So again, just if you take a look, you say, is it okay if I use? Do you mind if I open? Is it okay if I borrow? Do you mind if I read? So is it okay if and do you mind if are followed by the present tense? Nothing new. We studied this yesterday. 
The second one, the second thing that we studied yesterday is the request with if clauses and the past tense. We have a chat entry right here. Maritza says, good evening, I am present. Okay, Maritza, thank you, Maritza. Okay, your attendance has been registered. Thank you very much. Okay, so request with if and the past tense. Now, take a look. This time when you ask, would it be okay if, okay, the, the key word is would at the beginning. Would it be okay if, and would you mind if, then you have to use the past tense, not the present tense. You have to use the past tense. So the key is would and if, would and if, that's the key. So when you find would and if, you need to use the past tense. Again, would it be okay if I picked it up on Friday? Estaría bien si lo pasara recogiendo el viernes. Would you mind if I borrowed your new digital camera? ¿Te importaría si tomara prestada tu cámara? Okay. Would you mind if? Okay. And then the verb in past, borrowed, picked. Now, remember that there are some verbs that are regular and some other verbs that are irregular. So keep in mind, right, that irregular verbs have a special form in the past. Okay. Very important. Now, make the following requests. Use the words in parentheses. So you want to use your friend's computer. Would it be okay if I need a volunteer who wants to try? Noemi Alicia. Would, would it be okay if you used your computer? Okay, but one thing is missing. Would it be okay if? Would it be okay if I used it? If I used. If, uh -huh. if I used your uh -huh. computer. Would it be okay if I used your computer? You can see it here. I'm going to zoom in. Would it be okay if I used your used, computer used, in past used form? Okay, computer. good. Thank you, Noemi. What about the second one? You want to open the window, Saul. Uh, would you mind if I opened the window? Would you mind if I opened the window? Correct. I'm going to zoom in. Would you mind if I opened the window in past form? Very good. Thank you, Saul. What about number three? You want to borrow your friend's jacket, but this time you say, would you mind if? Chat entry. Jenny Elizabeth says, present. A problem with the microphone. Okay, Jenny. Thank you for letting me know. Your attendance has been reg registered. Thank you very much. The next one. Okay. You want to borrow your friend's jacket? You need to start the question with, would you be okay if? Who wants to try? Erika, Maidel, and then Iris Regina. Okay. So Erika, mm -hmm. number three, and Iris, number four. I think the number three is, uh, would, be, would, would it be okay if I borrow mm -hmm. your jacket? Would it be okay if I borrowed your jacket? That is right. Okay. Would it be okay if I borrowed in past form, right? If I borrowed your jacket, estaría bien si tomara prestada tu chaqueta. We have a chat entry here. Boris says present. Okay, Boris, thank you. Registering, registering your attendance right now. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, uh, Erica, very good. It is. You want to turn off the air conditioner. You need to say, would, would you mind if? Would you mind if I turn it off, off the air conditioner? Would you mind if I turned off the air conditioner? That's right. That's the one. Okay, very good. Thank you. That is correct. So again, you can see it here. When you use, would it be okay if, and would you mind if, you have to use a subject. Normally the subject is I, and then the past tense. Would it be okay if I used your computer? Would you mind if I opened the window? Would it be okay if I borrowed your jacket? Would you mind if I turned off the air conditioner? Now, be careful because these are very similar to the ones we studied before. I'm coming back to the previous slide, which is, is it okay if, and do you mind if? Two different things. Is it okay if, and do you mind if? Use the present tense. But 
would it be okay if, and would you mind if, use the past tense, okay? So, um, that's from yesterday, okay? That's a review. So, the new thing, requests with gerunds, okay? How do you use it? You say, would you mind, and that's the only question. Cuidado, sin el if al final. Este es una diferente. Solo es, would you mind? And only that. And after that, a gerund. Normally, this is when you ask a favor from the other person. You want the other person to do something for you. Okay? Cuando usted quiere que la otra persona le haga un favor, necesita usted que la otra persona haga algo por usted. So, would you mind? And then the gerund. And you have two examples. I'm going to zoom in. Would you mind letting me use your laptop? Would you mind opening the door for me? Okay. Now, again, this is when you want the other person to do something for you. It's a favor. It is a request. Yeah, but it's a favor. Okay. So remember, you say, would you mind? And then a gerund. And what is the gerund? The gerund is the verb in ing form. Okay. So be careful because in the previous slide, we have would you mind if the word if makes the difference but now we only have would you mind and only that so if you say would you mind opening the door for me this is like when we say in spanish te importaría abrir la puerta for me it's a favor that you're asking so take a look at this we're going to do this exercise right here make the following requests I need to make myself comfortable in this chair. So um, make the following requests. You have to use would you mind and then a gerund, just like the examples. Follow the structure. So you want your friend to help you with the cooking. Saul Antonio. Okay. Would you mind helping me with the cooking? Would you mind helping me with the cooking? That is correct. Thank you, Saul. Te importaría ayudarme con, verdad, la, la cocinada, digamos así. Okay, so would you mind helping me with the cooking? That's the one. Thank you very much. Jose Raivin, your turn. You want your friend to answer the phone for you. Would you mind answering the phone for me? Would you mind answering the phone for me? Correct. That's it. Would you mind answering the phone for me? Very good. Thank you very much. Voy a insistir siempre en algo. Me encanta que participen. Excelentísimo que participen y felicito mucho a todos los que me participan. Pero también quisiera escuchar a los demás. Porque hay gente que solo cuando me dicen present teacher, cuando paso la asistencia, solo ahí les oigo la voz. Y el resto de la clase, uh, nada. Así que les invito siempre, ¿verdad? Participemos. A los que ya están participando, que participan constantemente, excelente. Eh, síganlo haciendo, por favor. Y a los que no estamos participando mucho, pues les invito también a que lo intentemos, ¿verdad? Es, es, es como lo que les dije en la primera clase, si ustedes se acuerdan. Usted quiere aprender a nadar, tiene que tirarse a la piscina. Eh, solo viendo cómo nadan los demás no va a aprender. Así que tratemos también de producir un poquito. Ok. Um, the next one, you want your friend to turn the light off. Daisy. Would you mind turning the light off? Would you mind turning the light off? That is correct. Very good. Yeah, great. Would you mind turning the light off? Thank you, Daisy. And the last one, you want your friend to feed your cat while you're on vacation. How about this one? Feed means alimentar, right? So you want your friend to feed your cat while you're on vacation. Who knows this one? Raise your hand, please. Katia Graciela Juan de Candray. I like to say the complete name. I, I don't know. I try to share. Okay. <laughs> I try to share because okay. I'm nervous. <laughs> no, don't, don't get nervous. Would you okay. Mind? Uh, okay. Would you mind feeding uh, feed cat while you're on vacation? 
Okay, so remember that this is a favor that you are asking your friend directly. Usted le está preguntando directamente a su amigo. Así que, would you mind? Mind? Feeding? Remember, would you feeding mind? Me? Uh -huh. Okay, would you mind feeding? Feeding? Feeding me? Mm -mm, not feeding me. Ah, si no, yes, si, sí. si no le está pidiendo que, que le dé comida a usted. <laughs> no. Okay, would you mind feeding? Yes, feeding. Cat on vacation. Okay. Mm, better, but something is missing. Sorry, something teacher, is missing. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't difficult worry. for me. No, don't worry. Don't worry. But let's try. Intentémoslo. Veamos. So the, the, the thing is, you want your friend to feed your cat while you are away on vacation. So you say, would you mind feeding? ¿Cómo sería? Mm -hmm. Would you mind feeding? Help me, partners. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Katia is, is requesting some help. Let's yes. see, Boris. Boris, okay. What do you yes. have, Boris? Oh, thank you, Katia. Uh, Good evening. Uh, would you mind? Uh, feeding my cow while I'm on vacation. My cat, okay. Would you mind feeding my cat while I'm on vacation? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. So again, would you mind feeding my cat while I'm on vacation? There you go. Te importaría alimentar a mi gato cuando ando de vacación? There it is. Very good. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So again, um, I want you to take a look at this. This is like rule number three. If you have the question, would you mind? Be careful because it's not the same as would you mind if. Would you mind if is a different thing. If you say would you mind, you use a gerund. This is when you ask a person for a favor. Would you mind letting me use your laptop? Would you mind opening the door for me? Would you mind helping me with the cooking? Would you mind answering the phone for me? Would you mind turning the light off? Would you mind feeding my cat while I'm on vacation? Those are favors. Before we continue, do you have any questions? Teacher, and screen for me. When do you, when do you uh, use the if? If, yeah. okay. Let's see. Normally you will use if with these expressions. Let me check. I'm going to show you. These are the ones. Is it okay if? Do you mind if? Would it be okay if? And would you mind if? Those are the ones that need it. Normally, normally, but not always, the subject that follows is I. Okay. Okay. So that's where you do it. So when, why do we use if? Because normally this is something that you want to do. So when you say, is it okay if, so, estaría bien si yo hago esto y lo otro? Do you mind if, ¿se te importa si yo hago tal y tal acción? Would it be okay if, estaría bien si, si yo hago esto y lo otro? So that's the, that's the idea, okay? You use if normally when you want to do something, okay? You are basically like asking for permission to do something. Some examples, you can say here, let me see. I'm just going to try to make this a little bit bigger for you. Is it okay if I turn off the, the, the air conditioner? Okay. What about this one? Do you mind if I turn off the Okay, because this is very long, we're going to go with AC. Okay, because AC means air conditioner. So the AC, the air conditioner. Okay, then you can say, these ones use the present tense, these ones use the past tense. 
would it be okay if I turned in past off the AC and uh, would you mind if I turned off the AC? Now, in all of these cases, I want to turn off the AC. I want to do it. So I am asking for permission. Okay. But what about the other case that we're studying right now? Would you mind? But we don't use if. Okay. Would you mind? This is when you want the other person to do something for you. It's a favor. You can say, would you mind turning off the AC? Ahora ya no soy yo el que está pidiendo hacerlo. Más bien le estoy pidiendo a otra persona que lo haga. That's the difference. Okay. Here we go. Now, uh, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> You're going to take a picture. <laughs> okay. Say cheese. Okay. Esa es la importancia de tener la cámara prendida. Si no, no me habría dado cuenta. Okay, so <laughs> let's continue. And this is the last one. Oh, no, sorry. This is, uh, this is the one we just studied. No, this is the one we just studied. Okay, here's the last one. Okay. By the way, what is this doing here? I need to eliminate this. Okay. So uh, requests with if clauses and models. This is the most difficult, not, not difficult, but the most complex ones of the four. You say, I wonder if, uh, Jose, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. Uh, is it okay both ways when we are using, for example, the verb turned off mm -hmm. uh, to, put the, to put the subject between turn and off and to put it uh, at the end of the sentence? You is mean, it okay mean both ways? The object. For example, for example, uh -huh, for, uh -huh. for, for Turn, example can I say, can I say, would, would it be okay if I turn the AC off? Like this? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, both are okay. But okay. Um, this is about phrasal verbs. Okay. This is something that we call, I'm going to type it in here separable phrasal verb. Separable phrasal verbs have a characteristic. You can use, let's say, for example, in this case, you have the verb turn off, okay? Separable means that you can use the object of the verb at the end, which is right here, or you can use it in between. That means here. It's separable because you can separate the main verb from the particle. But not all phrasal verbs are separable. Some phrasal verbs are inseparable, so this is not possible. In some cases, only this is possible. The verb or the phrasal verb turn off is a separable phrasal verb, which means you can use the object at the end, like in turn off the light or turn off the AC, or you can use it between the main verb and the particle. You can say, turn the light off or turn the AC off. That's how it goes. But yeah. Okay, thank you very much, teacher. You're welcome. So um, here, request with if clauses and models. You say, I wonder if, I was wondering if, what is the meaning of wonder, by the way? What is the like meaning of one? Preguntarse. Preguntarse, exactly. Okay. When you me say, pregunto, teacher. Ajá, me pregunto. I wonder if, me pregunto si se podrá hacer tal cosa. Okay. I wonder if, or you say, I was wondering if, so me preguntaba. See, okay. You make it more formal. So, I wonder if, and I was wondering if, are usually followed by a subject and could and would. And here's a rule. Could and would are models. You know what? I'm going to just extend this just to make it clearer. Otherwise, it could be a little confusing. 
just a moment. Okay, verb in base form. Okay, better. So you have this, I wonder if, I was wondering if, and then you need to use a subject like I, you, etc. Then you use could and would, and after that you need a verb in base form. Why is that? Because there is a rule, a grammar rule, and the rule is after could and would, you have to use a verb in base form all the time because these are models. After a model, you always, 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 no exception, you use a verb in base form like this. I wonder if I could borrow some money. Si ustedes se fijan, ocupan could, que es el modo, y luego el verbo en forma base, o sea, la forma sin modificar del verbo de ninguna manera. I wonder if I could borrow some money. I wonder if you could lend me, if you, if you would mind, I'm sorry, letting me use your car. Let's change this to make it, to exemplify. I was wondering, okay. If you will, if you will mind letting me use your car. This is very, very formal. Okay, so what are we going to do? Remember, after I wonder if, and I was wondering if, you need to use a subject, then could and would, or would, and then a verb in base form, always like that. Following these examples, I want you to help me with the exercise. Make the following requests use the words in parentheses. So you want to use your friend's computer. You're going to use, I wonder if, and you're going to use the model could. Who wants to try? <clears throat> Permítanme un momentito, por favor. Le voy a pedir un minutito. Antes de mostrar la respuesta, me dije que no la había modificado. Regálenme solo un instante. Hagamos algo. Let's do something. Do it on your notebook, the four of them. Or on a piece of paper, okay? And then we're going to do it together. I'm sorry, okay? I made a mistake here. Just one minute. Please, please do it on a piece of paper, okay? Uh, Okay. Okay. I apologize. <laughs> All right. I have the right ones now. I'm sorry about that. Sorry about the delay. So the first one is you want to use your friend's computer. You have to use I wonder and could. Erika, my no, oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who wants to participate? <laughs> Maritza Isabel. Okay. I try to chat. Okay. I wonder if I could use mm -hmm. your computer. I wonder if I could use your computer. That is correct. Very good. That's right. I wonder if I could use your computer. Very nice. Saul Antonio. Thank you, Maritza. Saul Antonio, you want your friend to open the window. You have to use I was wondering if and would mind. Be careful because would mind uses a verb in ing after that, as we studied before. Okay, I 
the correct option for me is I was wondering if you would mind opening the window. I was wondering if you would mind opening the window. That is correct. That is correct. Very good. Let me change the color just to make it better looking. Okay. I was wondering if you would mind opening the window. Dennis Isaias, you get number three. You want to borrow your friend's jacket. You have to use I wonder if and could. I wonder if I could borrow your jacket. I wonder if I could borrow your jacket. That is correct. Very good. Thank you, Dennis. And Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy, the last one. You want hey. your friend to lend you $20. So you are going to use, I was wondering if, and then would mine. And remember, you use a gerund after that. I have a question first. Ah, sure. sure. What's your question? Um, in this, in this, uh, in this case, mm -hmm. we don't need use a, a market question at the end. Ah, uh, no, because these are not questions. Uh huh. Nice observation. Mm -hmm. Very nice observation. But yeah, the answer is no, because these are not questions. Cuando usted dice, I wonder if, me pregunto si, lo que está haciendo uh -huh. es decir que usted tiene un interrogante, mas no está haciendo una pregunta. Solamente está diciendo que se lo pregunta. Mas no está preguntando directamente. Como en los otros casos, veamos acá. Si usted dice, would you mind helping me with the cooking? That's a question. Uh -huh. If you say, would it be okay if I use your computer? That's a question. Mm -hmm. And if you say, is it okay if I use your computer? That's a question. You need question marks. But when you have something like, I wonder, or I was wondering, those are not questions. So no question mark at the end. Okay. Okay, sure. good observation. So the last one, well, um, I don't know if you want to try or a different person. Uh, I will try. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, I was I was wondering mm -hmm. if if uh, if you would mind mm -hmm. in lend lend me twenty twenty dollars. Okay. Only one small mistake. I was wondering if you would mind. Maybe Alejandro can help us. Uh, microphone. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I wonder if. You... Uh, so sorry. Um, no worry, lending no me. Lending me. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Se, se le sacaron la palabra de la boca, Alejandro. Okay, so we, I was Sorry, wondering. No, no it's, it's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, thank you both for participating. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering if you would mind lending me twenty dollars. Me preguntaba o me preguntaba si a usted le importaría prestarme veinte dólares. Qué forma más mm -hmm. increíblemente formal de pedir algo. Pero existe. So I was wondering if you would mind lending me twenty dollars. That's it. Those are the ways to make requests with models, if clauses, and gerunds. Okay. So what are we going to do? First review. Okay. So um, remember, you say, is it okay if, and do you mind if, plus present tense. You say, would it be okay if, and would you mind if, plus the past tense. You say, would you mind, plus a gerund, to ask for a favor. <laughs> And finally, I, w I wonder if, and I was wondering if, you use could or would plus a verb in base form. And if the verb is mind, you have to use the next verb in gerund form. So um, before I forget, I'm going to send this to you via WhatsApp because otherwise I might forget. So let's see. Um, I'm just taking some screenshots I can send you. Uh, here, okay, via WhatsApp right now. And also this one here, this is the other one, taking the screenshot now. And here's the information. 
So if you check the WhatsApp group, I just sent it to you. Okay. Um, estos mensajes son de hoy. Um, alguien me escribió acá por medio de... Ah, no, dice so today I... I'm not feeling good. Okay, so you're here, no problem. Okay, so what are we going to do? Uh, there's an exercise. And that exercise is the knowledge check 3.4. It's in the platform, which means it's this one right here, knowledge check. So what are you going to do? Well, here you just have four uh, exercises, but I have six right here. So make requests using these cues, then practice with a partner. Which requests need to be more formal? So what is this? You want to borrow your classmates on the on classmates on the water camera, okay, for a diving trip. So you say, I was wondering. I was wondering, blah, 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 blah. And then he says, sure, that's fine, but please be careful with it. The second one is you want to use your roommate's computer. So you say, is it okay? Is it okay if blah, blah, blah. You can use it, but please save my work first. Your neighbor has a cat. You need, has a car, I'm sorry. You need a ride to class. So would you mind, blah, blah, blah. I'll be glad to, what time? and so on. So what are you going to do? I want you to work together in small groups, okay? We're going to form some breakout rooms for you to solve this activity together. I'm going to be monitoring, and after that, uh, we're going to check answers right here, all together. So let's see, we're going to form how many, let's see, six groups okay six groups right here i'm going to create them right now so room number one blanca marisol erica maidel jose eraibin and katia graciela room two alicia guadalupe ana yanira jenny elizabeth and saul antonio room three ana filomena i think i'm going to show you here okay it's more effective ana filomena andrea michel boris martin and miguel angel Room four, Selina Ivette, Daisy Carolina, Maritza Isabel, and Ronald Antonio. Room five, Alejandro Quintanilla, Nadia Rodriguez, and Noemi Alicia. And in room six, Dennis Isaías, uh, Francisco Alberto, and Iris Regina. Nuevamente, eh, el llamado, por supuesto, está que cuando formemos estos grupos, que participemos todos, ¿verdad? No estar ahí solo trabajando en silencio de forma individual porque no es el objetivo ni tampoco es el objetivo ver cómo dos personas resuelven el ejercicio y los demás solo viendo verdad así que tratemos de participar todos en la resolución de este ejercicio I'm going to open the breakout rooms right now please everybody join your team and I'm going to start visiting them to help you out everybody please join your join your room No me da la opción, teacher Noemi de Valle. Noemi, quiero ver. No ha entrado, dice. No le da la opción. No. Qué extraño. Bueno, vamos a... Quiero ver. Le voy a dar ahorita a mover a otra sala, pero inmediatamente después la voy a volver a mover a la sala 5. No vaya a entrar si le sale. La voy a poner en la 6 y luego a la 5. Vaya, ahora la voy a poner en la 5. Le sale ahora. Noemi. Okay. Okay, ahí está. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Ok, a uh, Noemí le aparece la opción para entrar a la sala 5. Fíjese que no. 
no le sale. Qué No, extraño. intente otra vez, por favor. Vaya, la voy a poner en la sala 6 y luego la Ajá. voy a pasar a la 5 nuevamente. No toco nada. Yo creo que no. Ahorita en unirse, sí. Vaya, ahorita todavía no, la voy a pasar a la 5, a ver si le sale. Ahora Ya sí la... le doy unirse. Ahora sí, dele. Okay, good. Borrow, borrowing, borrowing, mm -hmm. underwater, borrowing, underwater camera for a diving trip. Is correct. I was wondering. I know. Is <laughs> good. And teacher. Yes. The first one is I was wondering. Mm -hmm. I. <laughs> if you would mind. I was wondering. Mm -hmm. If you would mind, uh huh. If you would mind. Borrow borrowing. Um, the thing is, si ustedes ponen, if you would mind borrowing, no, no queda bien porque cuando ustedes dicen, would you mind doing something, están pidiéndole a la otra persona que haga algo. Entonces, acuérdense de lo que vimos ayer. La persona que hace la actividad esta, borrow, es quien lo recibe, no el que lo da. El que lo da tiene que ocupar un verbo diferente que es lend. Habría que cambiar el verbo en esta ocasión para que, que, para que quede bien. I was wondering if you would mind. Lend, 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 lending. Lending, Ajá. Me. lending me. Lending me. Lending me. Your underwater. For a driving trip. Okay, I was wondering if you would mind lending me your underwater camera for a diving trip. Um, Let me. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, okay teacher. Mm -hmm. Entonces, yeah, yeah, I was wondering, okay. I, <laughs> sorry. Yes, you can say that. Very good. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Number two. Is it, is it okay? It is okay. If I use your computer. If, yes. It is okay if I use your computer. Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Is it okay, right? Because it's a question. Is it okay? Would you okay. mind? Teacher, is difficult learning the all the structure? <laughs> oh, well, no, it's not difficult. We only need some practice. For you, yes. no difficult. Would you? <laughs> Uh, the, uh, well, but there was a time that it was very difficult, believe me. <laughs> mm, yes, because the platform for me was very difficult. Okay. My mm -hmm. son, my son uh, yeah. 50 years have helped me. Ah, 15 years. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay. The third one, I think, is would you uh, mind three, giving me a ride? Would you mind uh, time up, time up, time up. Just, just a second. Um, uh, I'm going to go into a different group now because I need to help the others. Okay, please continue. See okay, you in a few teacher, minutes. Bye. Bye. -bye. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Uh, Would you mind writing me to the class? Uh, you know, would you mind? Not exactly. If, not if, exactly. Uh huh. Would, you, would mind you mind? If. Would you okay. mind if? Sorry. Would you mind mm. if it was missing? Okay. So. Um, <laughs> normally, when you have ride, okay. You mm -hmm. have to use the verb give a ride. 
You can right. get a ride or give a ride. Would you mind if you? Ah, uh -uh. would you mind? Uh, would you mind giving? Uh -huh. giving. Giving. Mm -hmm. Me a ride to the class. Would you mind giving me a ride? Uh huh. Okay. If you, you, if you would you mind giving me a ride? Mm -hmm. Without if, without 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 if, without if. exactly. Okay. Why? You because you are asking the person to do something for you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Do you mind giving? Uh, giving me a ride to the class. Yes. Erase. 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 If. Jenny. If. Would you mind giving? Would the you mind giving me a ride? If, uh -huh. if the if erase erase if er, erase the if yes erase yes, the if yes 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 uh -huh. and the four the four yes. one the four. <laughs> okay the, you, the four one can you help me move on Saturday? Thank you. Can okay, let, let's me? let's take a look at the first one. You have, I was wondering if you will mind borrowing me your underwater camera for a dry, diving trip. Ahí tenemos un problemita, y el problemita está que, acuérdense lo que vimos ayer. Borrow es una acción que quiere decir tomar o pedir prestado. Es la persona quien lo recibe. Pero cuando usted le pregunta a alguien, if you would mind doing something, le está pidiendo a esa persona que haga algo. Entonces no puede ser el verbo borrow, tiene que cambiarlo al otro verbo. Lend. ¿Cuál sería? Lend. Ajá. So I was wondering lending. if you would mind lending me, prestarme. Lending. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Lending me your underwater camera for a diving trip. Ajá. Ahora okay. sí. Okay. okay, please continue. I need to visit the other rooms. Okay, okay. back. Thank you. Welcome. Can you help me move? Move or moving? I don't know. No, it is a move, I think. Can uh, you move, help me move? Move on Saturday. Move on Saturday. Huh? On Saturday. Could you help me? Can you help me? Can you help me move on Saturday? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. You help me move and stop. Okay. Another. Mm -hmm. Number five. Number Will five you? says you want to borrow your cousin DVD of Spider Man. Would you? This is. Um, this is kind. Uh, Will you? Would you? Could you borrow me your... Mm -hmm. no. Not, not no. possible. Because Can remember, you... when a person borrows something, the person receives it. Ah, yes. Oh. Uh -huh. So yes, could yes, you? Yes, yes, yes. Could you lend? Could you lend me? Could, could you, you lend me? Uh -huh. you lend That's me? better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Could you lend me? Lend me? Your uh, DVD of the Spider-Man? Spider-Man. Good. Very good. Okay. okay. Your DVD. Okay. Um, please continue. I need to visit the other breakout rooms. I'll be yes. back. Okay. Okay. And not. You move on Saturday. Can you help me? Can, Can you, you help me? You move on Saturday. Can 
Can you Can you me? help me move on Saturday? Tell me. Ajá. You. Podrías ayudarme a mudarme el sábado, algo así. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Can you help me move on Saturday? Yes. Yeah. Totally. Yes. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm busy. I'm busy. Sorry, I'm busy. I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. On the next is five. You want to borrow your cousin DVD or a Spider Man? Wow. Spider-Man with Toby Maguire. <laughs> All movie. Okay. Who's you? Who's you? En pasado sería borrow. Could you? No, not really. No, no. You want to borrow? Mm -hmm. uh, um, Could you borrow? But that's a problem. Me remember, remember that <laughs> there, there are two verbs. The person that gives something lends. The person who receives borrows. So when you say "could you," you have to use a different verb. Could no, you but, lend me your uh -huh. DVD of Spider-Man? Well, could you lend me? Uh -huh. Could you lend me? Uh -huh. Ah, you want to borrow. Uh -huh. could, hmm. could you lend me your DVD of, of Spider-Man? Yes. Could you lend me your DVD no. of Spider-Man? Uh -huh. Correct. Very good. That's the form. Very nice. I have to visit another break of room. Please continue. And we will check answers okay. in a few minutes. Okay. okay? avanzados nos van a enseñar a unir good todas tip. las palabras. Alejandro, thank you, good tip. Ya. Yeah. Thank you, Alejandro. Okay, okay, my pleasure. Is it okay? Is it okay? Uh, Is it okay? Is it okay? If, 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 if I, I can see the, the borrow. If the I letter. borrow. Is it okay if I borrow your computer? Is it okay um, if I borrow your computer? No. It, number two. Is it okay if yes, I borrow teacher? your computer? Yes, yeah, teacher. yeah. Yeah. You can you can okay. say that, or you can say, "Is it okay if I use your computer?" If I use your computer, yes. Mm -hmm. right? Also, sounds good. But but we can say we cannot say if is it okay if I let your computer right lend we no can, because because you will lend. give it yes. to the person and you don't exactly. want to give it you want to receive it so is it okay, okay if if i borrow your computer or is it okay if i use your computer any of those okay or either of those is fine okay teacher. okay cool and and the answer is you can use it but please say my word first say my word okay. first yeah that's right yeah. Okay, the number three. Okay, uh, I just, I just, uh, oh, sorry. sorry, I just want you to continue because I need to visit the final breakout room and after that we're going to check answers together. Please continue. Okay, thank you. Okay. Mal. Hi, teacher. Teacher, hi. I have a question. What's your question? <laughs> Eh, this, eh, this, um, oh, uh, the <laughs> six? Is that? What number is, six, okay. <laughs> I am sorry. What is a uh, translate, uh, correct the aunt? Aunt, the tia, no? La tía. Ah. Mm -hmm. Quiere unas, un, una segunda, uh, una segunda rebanada, rebanada del pastel de cereza, la tía. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, Francisco. 
No, 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 no problem. Uh, you continue. And tell me if I got the right the right uh, question. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, will will it be okay if if you gave me if you gave me uh, a second piece of cherry pie? Um, if you gave me, would it be okay if mm -hmm. you gave me? Normally, when you say, would it be okay if it's something that you are going to do, not another person? Mm -hmm. So, okay, maybe um, I'm going to give you a hint. Normally, when you want to take a second piece of something, you can use the verb have. So you say, would it be okay if? If I have. Mm -hmm. If I have in past, right? If I have. Uh -huh. If I have. A second piece of, of cake. Of your pie, right? Of your cherry pie. Uh, cherry pie. Mm -hmm. A second piece of your cherry pie. Okay. Okay. The Korean answer is yes, of course. Just pass me uh, your plate. <laughs> Just pass me your plate. Okay, and you can have it. Okay, I'm going to close the breakout rooms because it's 9 p.m. So we need to check the exercise and finish the class. So okay. See you in one minute. Okay. Pretty sure. I love this. <laughs> okay, everybody. I'm going to close the breakout rooms now. And uh, in one minute, we'll see each other. And we're going to check answers before we finish the class. We have uh, one minute. Everybody, please join the main room. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. How are you? How are you? Should be good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello. <laughs> 33 seconds. 32, 31. Okay. Some people are still in the rooms. Okay. Two people are still in the rooms. I'm going to start sharing the screen with you again. Okay, 10 seconds. Okay. All right, we're back. So you want to borrow your classmates underwater camera for a diving trip. So what is it? Please, I need a volunteer. Saul, and then Alejandro, and then Boris, okay? So number okay. one. I was wondering if you would mind lending me your underwater, for, underwater camera for a driving trip, okay. sorry. Okay, nice. I was wondering if you would mind lending me your underwater camera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay, good. Uh, alternatively, you can say, I was wondering if I could borrow your underwater camera is also possible. Okay, good. Alejandro, number two, you want to use your roommate's computer. Alejandro, no? Is it okay if I borrow your computer? Is it okay if I borrow your computer? It's possible. But if you want to use the same verb as in the uh, statement, you can say, is it okay if I use your computer? But your sentence is also good. Thank okay. you. Number three, uh, I saw Boris raising his hand. Yeah. Um, okay. Your could neighbor. You mind, uh -huh, please. Could you mind uh, writing me to, to, to a class? Okay. Um, normalmente, cuando estamos hablando de rights, usted puede decirlo así. You can ask for a ride, que es pedir un aventón, get a ride, es decir, obtener, ride. obtener un aventón, and give a ride, que es dar un aventón. Y de ahí viene la palabra cuando, uno, cuando dice, decimos en El Salvador, hey, dame ride, dame ride, bien. porfa, es give me a ride, de ahí viene del inglés. Entonces, pero no ocupemos ride y luego a la persona, Porque eso tiene una connotación um, indecente, digámoslo así. 
Nah, no voy a entrar en detalles, pero no lo ocupemos así nunca porque puede, puede darse a un malentendido. Entonces tenemos ask for a ride, get a ride, or give a ride. ¿Qué tal si ocupamos give a ride? Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you mind give me a ride? Okay. After mine, we use the verb in ing form. So would you mind okay. giving me? Uh -huh. A ride to, to a class? Would you mind to giving class? me a ride to class? Okay, correct. Okay, okay, very good, very good. I'll be glad, what time? Thank you, Boris. Number four, you want a friend to help you move on Saturday. Jose Raibin. Uh, can you help me, can you help me move on Saturday? Can you help me move on Saturday? That's correct, very good, very good. I'm really sorry. I'm busy the whole weekend. <laughs> Number five. You want to borrow your cousin's DVD of Spider-Man. Who wants to try? Come on, come on. Only two more and then we finish the class. Okay, Katia. Could you lend me, could you lend me DVD of Spider-Man? Your DVD of Spider-Man. Yeah. Could you lend yes. me your DVD of Spider-Man? Absolutely. Thank you, Katia. You're Number welcome. six. You would like a second piece of your aunt's cherry pie. Dennis. Would it be okay if I had a second piece of cherry pie? Would it be okay if I had a second piece of your cherry pie? That's right. Very good. Okay, everybody, really, really good. Um, tomorrow we will just uh, continue with uh, the exercises. We're going to finish section number three, and also we're going to solve the midterm test, okay? So don't miss the class tomorrow. Uh, before we finish, I'm just going to call the attendance one more time. Andrea Geraldine, are you here? Andrea Geraldine Sanchez Racinos? Se encuentra por acá? Último llamado. Andrea Geraldine Sánchez Racinos. No. Miguel Ángel Quintanilla Tejada. Are you here, Miguel Ángel? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's it. Everybody, thank you very much. Um, thanks for paying attention, for your participation, and for the effort. I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.